You know, this is the this is the real hard part of the camp. So. Let's get this party started. This is boxing. This is top rank. In New York, you know, it's a straight city. So being out here is just different. You know, the altitude, the training environment. You know, I'm, I'm at the UFC Center, so I'm around fighters. I'm back here again. March 19th, main event, Madison Square Garden, in my hometown, getting ready, getting to it. We're about to go to Hugo Balls right now and get an outfit for, for tomorrow's press conference. Gotta look good, so we, we're going shopping. Who are, you, who are you fighting against? Um, I'm fighting, his name is Quincy Lavalis. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> well, I, I was just looking for an outfit. I got a press conference Thursday and we're just looking something dressy but not super casual. Yourself out. You gotta yeah. play yourself and all that. You look good, man. Yeah, yeah, you look good. You look good. Yeah, dress yourself and hear our boss. You gotta be good. That's a good time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Man, we got all the goodies in there, man. Everything is in there. Let's get it. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, you gotta show love to the people that, that loves you and that helps you at, at any given moment, you know, and, and he's one of those guys, he's, he's one of the other guys in my, in my tight circle that I can trust. Hey man, I go both it. ways, he go both ways, you know, mm -hmm. I see him working hard, I see him like putting the work, so I'm here for him, he's here for me, so that's how it works. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, we don't do nothing but killers around here. Got a guard dog waiting, at, waiting on y'all as soon as I walk through the door, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got two phones. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, what's going on with that? I, I got a yeah. business phone and a personal phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got I got one I got to handle business on, you know, uh, important calls, money calls, you know. Uh, then the other one, you know, I keep a family, friends, stuff like that. No, no Tinder? Nah, nah. <laughs> I got a feeling that's going to be a really big year for you. I think so, too. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with that. I think it's going to be a huge year. I think everybody's going to take notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we might see you fighting, maybe in the States, maybe overseas, we can't say. You can't say, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to make it as fun as possible. Just listen to music, you know, do what you do. You know? At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's our job. We gotta cut weight. Um, you know, I feel good, you know, I have a great team. Perfecting athletes work with me, they're my nutritionists. You know, they, they do an excellent job on my wake up. Um, I don't have to worry about anything and just following what they tell me, you know? The second time fighting here in New York, it just is a blessing and, and I feel amazing. I feel amazing, I'm happy, and I'm, I'm ready to go and, and excited to put on a show for everybody. Uh, What's Coach K doing here? Is he breaking you or stretching you? Oh. <laughs> you know, this is the this is the real hard part of the camp, so we just taking it easy, man. You know, just getting a light running, some work, drop this weight. Papa, so you seem you're good at stretching, you're good at that stuff. You seem yeah, I don't want to stretch him no more because he get too heavy. Yeah. Before I used to stretch him when he was little. <laughs> How's he on? Oh, amazing, man. Yeah. I'm telling everybody here, 
I wouldn't be fighting if it wasn't 150 percent. You know, so my arm is feeling strong, back to normal, and I'm ready. You know, ready for the Saturday, man. And you're doing some work now with Coach K. Yeah, I'm, I've been over there with him, with, with my brother Jarrett. Yeah, yeah. Next heavyweight champ. You know what I'm saying? So he's, he's taking all those titles. Guarantee it. You ain't never seen a heavyweight like this before. This is my this is my Muhammad Ali. Trying to be. <laughs> He even works my corners in the sparring because I just love his energy. I know that we on the same road to riches, man, to get those titles, to get rich. And that's why he came out here, you know what I'm saying? My brother came out here, man, you feel me? He came out here, you know, support, man, you know, and, and give me that motivation, so I appreciate it, you know? If you want to be great, you got to be around greatness, you know, and that's what it comes down to. That's for anything in life. What you doing in the gym today? So I'm just nice little run, keep my weight down. Like I'm already on weight. Just make sure I keep my weight down. A little 25 minute run. I've been ready. I've been ready since two weeks into camp. How's Coach K doing? Is he busting your balls? Is he oh, doing? Coach K is the worst. He's the worst. Nah, <laughs> nah, man, man, he's the best. Nah, seriously, like he's uh, definitely uh, you know the best coach for me and uh, it's just like if there's anything I need to work on any little you know hitch in my defense or offense we're gonna you know work on fixing on that and uh, mm -hmm. he's definitely you know um, great at that man you know that's all you know Shushu's always like later on in his in his amateur career he always like had a pro style kind of sort of mm -hmm. and I feel the pro game is more for him where he can take his time and uh, see what he's doing um, and stuff like that so you know he's a uh, he's definitely uh, his fights that I've, I've worked with him in, he's, he's getting better and better. Mm -hmm. um, this fight right here, he, uh, he worked really hard, sparring a lot of people, different people in Las Vegas. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a lot about him. Um, see if the home crowd affects him. Mm -hmm. um, if he stays disciplined and focused, uh, you know, if he fights for the crowd or he fights for himself. Mm -hmm. So just it's, we'll both be learning this fight. Gotta come out, March 19th. Be there.